America's next main battle tank could be a lighter but more technologically advanced version of the M1 Abrams. General Dynamics, the company that manufactures the Abrams, recently unveiled an updated version of the M1, the Abrams X. In addition to being 20 tons lighter than the most recent versions, the M1A3 has an unmanned turret and a hybrid electric engine. The media has dubbed the Abrams X as a next-generation tank, but this is not entirely accurate. The Abram X is primarily a technology demonstration vehicle. The Abrams X is more of an interim design to bridge the gap between the Cold War era designs that still comprise the world's tank fleets and the true generations vehicles that will most likely be fielded closer to 2050. Regardless, the Abrams X is a functional weapon, so let's know more about this next-gen tank in this video. Without further ado, let's begin. The upgrade could help the tank soldier on until the 2050s. The 40-year-old M1 Abrams tank recently received a slew of new upgrades that could keep it in service for decades. The Abrams X, unveiled this week, is a comprehensive redesign that elevates the 1970s-era tank to true 21st century status. If used, the tank could last until the 2050s or even later. General Dynamics Land Systems unveiled the Abrams X in a YouTube video on Saturday ahead of the 2022 Associations of the United States Army Conventions in Washington, D.C., where the Aerospace and Defense Company will officially unveil the next generation tank. The annual convention is typically used to introduce new concepts and doctrines for the Army and new hardware that the service may acquire in the future. History of M1 Abrams The M1 Abrams was introduced in 1979 by Chrysler Defense as a replacement for older main battle tanks. The U.S. Army used a series of tanks beginning with the M26 Pershing in 1945 and ending with the M60 Patton. Each tank was a logical evolution of one before it from the M26 to the M46, M47, M48, and M60. Meanwhile, the M1 was a clean sheet design that completely broke away from the series with an angular turret, British design Cobham armor, a new ballistic computer, an early thermal imager, and a gasoline powered turbine engine. The result was a better protected tank, faster, sleeker, and capable of fighting at night. It significantly improved in every way. The M1 has evolved similarly over the years. In the late 1980s, the A1 upgrade added a new 120mm main gun and depleted uranium armor which while heavy significantly improved armor protection. In addition, the M1A2 has received incremental upgrades such as a separate thermal viewer for the commander, a silent watch feature that allows the vehicle to operate its thermal sights while powered down, improved crew ballistic protections, explosive reactive armor to defeat shape charge weapons, a digital backbone, digital ammunition data link, and most recently, the trophy active protection system. What's new with Abrams X? Since its production, the Abrams X main battle tank has been the most significant upgrade to the M1 Abrams main battle tank, reworking both the inside and outside of the vehicle to incorporate several modern features. As a result, the three traditional categories of modern tanks, firepower, protections, and mobility have all been significantly improved. Let's review the features in that order and a few new ones. According to social media accounts, the new tank replaces the old main gun, the M256 120mm gun, with the XM360 120mm gun. The XM360 was originally developed for future combat systems, a program launched in the early 2000s to replace the Army's existing armored vehicles. The program spent $18 billion and produced only one operational vehicle. The XM360 is the same caliber and uses the same ammunition as the older M256. To help reduce recoil, the XM360 also has a pepper pot style muzzle brake at the muzzle. The overall gun system employs composite materials and titanium to reduce gun system weight and thus overall vehicle weight. According to General Dynamics' press release, Abrams X has a smaller crew size but no further details are provided. The standard Abrams crew consists of a commander, gunner, loader, and driver, but more recent tanks such as the German Leopard 2, Japanese Type 10, and South Korean K2 include an automatic loader. The Abrams X also has three crew hatches in the front of the vehicle. It implies that the Abrams X is the first Abrams to feature an automatic loader and that the turret, which has been redesigned and appears to have a lower profile, is completely uncrewed. The top of the turret of the Abrams X is outfitted with what appears to be an XM914 30mm chain gun, which replaces both the commander's M2 50 caliber machine gun 
and the Loader's M240 7.62mm machine gun. The XM914 is equipped with a remotely operated gun system, allowing the crew to fire from inside the hole while using a thermal imaging system to aim at night and through the smoke. This allows the crew to engage infantry, drones, soft-skinned vehicles such as trucks, and lightly armored vehicles such as the Russian BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle with a chain gun while saving main gun ammunitions for engagements with peer threats enemy tanks. This indirectly increases the main gun's ammunition supply, allowing it to engage more tanks. Another area where Abrams X can improve is security. The hull is shaped similarly to previous Abrams tank, implying the same level of protection. The unmanned turret does not have a human crew, but it is said to have an active protection system that shoots down incoming rockets and missiles. In the event of a detonation, a large topside panel on the top of the turret is likely a blowout panel, allowing the main gun ammunition stored in the turret to fan upward and away from the crew. Abrams X is expected to be the most mobile Abrams model since the 1970s. The tanks have become increasingly heavy over the years, with the additions of depleted uranium armor and other features increasing the tank's weight from 60 to 73.6 tons over 40 years. According to General Dynamics, the new vehicle has a hybrid powertrain and reduces fuel consumptions by 50%. There are also some weight savings. The tank is also the first Abrams to be powered by a diesel engine. The Abrams' use of a gasoline engine has long been a logistical stumbling block for an army whose entire vehicle fleet is powered by diesel. In addition to the big tree of firepower, protections and mobility, sensors are an important features of modern tanks. According to the YouTube video, Abrams X has enhanced Silent Watch, a relatively new feature that allows the Abrams to run its power-hungry thermal sights without turning on the relatively loud gas turbine engine. The tank's new hybrid engine will likely have a larger battery pack to power these sensors for longer periods. In addition, the tank has armored cameras pointing in all directions, providing the crew with 360-degree visibility without having to exit the vehicle. It also appears to have radar sensors similar to those used in self-driving cars, one pointed upward at the back of the tank. The reductions from four to three crew members will undoubtedly be contentious. The United States Army prefers a human loader because early autoloaders, particularly Soviet autoloaders, were mechanically suspect. Four crew members also mean more people to watch if the tank stops on a battlefield crawling with enemies. Instead of sitting at separate stations, the new crew arrangement allows all three crew members to sit side by side, collaborating and fighting together. It is still being determined how artificial intelligence will reduce the cognitive load on the reduced crew. The tank can operate alongside uncrewed armored vehicles, but it is unclear how the crew of three can fight the tank and an uncrewed vehicle. And this may be where AI comes in. Will the army buy Abrams X? The Abrams X is such a massive improvement over the existing Abrams that it's practically a new tank. Will the mighty United States Army buy it? The Army has tried and failed to replace the M1 several times, and other Abrams is the path of least resistance. According to James, the tank is a technology demonstrator and has yet to be ready for widespread use. In addition, although the Army already has thousands of Abrams and has previously remanufactured older tanks to save money, there are so many changes built into Abrams X that remanufacturing may not be possible. The Abrams X is more than just a 21st century tank. The likely inclusions of systems such as top attack active protections and a 30mm chain gun is inspired by the conflict in Ukraine. Moreover, if adopted by the US Army, the Abrams platform could serve until the 2050s and beyond. That's about 50 years longer than the tank's original designers anticipated it would last. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below.